Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the love and mercy of God be with you. Let us pray. Loving Jesus, you came to become aware of truth and our life to the Father. Zir, for the house of your Father, made you to be considered a mad person. We beg you that you may give us your Holy Spirit to lead us to the same zeal for your kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark chapter 3, verses 20 21. In that time, Jesus went home with his disciples, and the crowd came together again so that they could not even eat. And when his friends heard it, they went out, says him, for they said, He is beside himself. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear good listener, from the Gospel we have heard, I have chosen the theme. Because of you, Jesus was considered mad. My dear good listener, from John chapter 3, verse 16, we read that God so loved the world, and because of his love, he sent his only begotten Son, so that whoever believes in him might be saved. My dear good listener, God desires that we are all saved, and that's why we see Jesus demonstrate a kind of zeal that none had ever exhibited in the history of salvation. And so we find in Psalm 69, verses 7 to 12, For I endure scorn for your sake, and shame covers my face. I'm a foreigner to my own family, a stranger to my own mother's children. For zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who insult you fall on me. When I weep and fast, I must endure scorn. When I put on sackcloth, people make sport of me. Those who sit at the gate mock me, and I'm the song of the drunkards. My dear good listener, this psalm we have heard, we do not know what event or series of events caused David, who wrote Psalm 69, and we do not know if it was before or after he had become a king. But what is clear is, it seems that David's dedication to God caused other people to scorn, mock, insult, and reject him. As with many Psalms of David, this one can be applied to the son of David as well, Jesus. And we find that the description of being consumed by zeal for God's house is applied also to Jesus in John chapter 2. When Jesus enters the temple, he cleanses it of the wicked men who are extorting and cheating worshippers. And so when it was almost time for the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple courts, he found people selling cattle, sheep, and doves, and others sitting at tables exchanging money. So he made a whip out of cords and drove all of them out of the temple, both sheep and cattle. He scattered the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. To those who sold doves, he said, Get them out of here. Stop turning my father's house into a market. Upon seeing Jesus' action in the temple, his disciples remembered what David had written in Psalm 69, verse 17. Zeal for your house will consume me. My dear good listener, with this background, Jesus, together with his disciples, was very busy that even he never had the time to eat. And so when his friends heard of it, they went out to get him out of this work, for they were convinced that Jesus had become mad. My dear good listener, for you and for me, Jesus is considered mad because he came to do everything possible to make us realize God's love and mercy for us. And so he even gave up himself already in the ministry before his death for you and for me. My dear good listener, I'm not sure whether it has happened to you that you go through a lot of challenges and it seems to you that Jesus is not with you anymore. 
it's not possible that Jesus can abandon us. When the gospel text says that even his friends came to seize him, but they couldn't. They could not understand him because his heart was entirely for people. He had come to save God's people at all costs. That's why he reached the time to die for us. My dear good listener, have we really reached in our love this level of being called mad? If you and I have not yet reached a level of loving Jesus to the point of madness, it means there is something lacking. Jesus loved God's people to the point of madness, of being considered mad. This we find in the lives of saints. For example, when we read the diary of St. Faustina number 1053, we read, During all the mass I saw the Lord who said to me, Lean your head on my breast and rest. The Lord pressed me to his heart and said, I shall give you a small portion of my passion, but do not be afraid. Be brave. Do not seek relief, but accept everything the submission to my will. And so, when we continue reading the diary of St. Faustina, we find that St. Faustina had a lot of suffering. She says, When Jesus was taking leave of me, such great pain filled my soul that it is impossible to express it. Physical strength left me. I left the chapel quickly and went to bed. I was oblivious of what was going on around me. My soul was filled with longing for the Lord, and all the bitterness of his divine heart was imparted on me. This lasted for about three hours. I asked the Lord to protect me from the eyes of those around me. What I wanted to, I could not take any food all day until evening. I honestly desired to spend the whole night with Jesus in the dark prison cell. I prayed until 11 o'clock. At 11, the Lord said to me, lie down and take your rest. I have let you experience in three hours what I suffered during the whole night. And immediately, I went to bed. St. Faustina had saying, when we read in the diary of St. Faustina number 1062, she says that illness also is a great grace. I have been ill for four months, but I do not recall having wasted so much as a minute of it. All has been for God and souls. I want to be faithful to him everywhere. So saints understood that even illness was a grace for them to grow. So you can imagine the level they had reached. Have we reached this level yet? Maybe no. So may we ask God that we may understand indeed the graces that are also hidden in the daily crosses, in the suffering we encounter in life. And may we use all these sufferings for the sake of Jesus and his people. May we be zealous for the kingdom of God. And may nothing bar us from this. I continue to beg you to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not yet done so. But also to share this good news with your friends. The Lord be with you. The good of love and mercy bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.